Hello people, tune in to Don Chazzy once again for University Cooking and today we are going to be cooking leek and potato soup. Simple, easy, serve six to eight people and once more, it's cheap. Okay, so what you need for this recipe is 400 grams of leeks, quartered lengthways and then sliced, two celery sticks, sliced, two carrots, sliced, two cloves of garlic, sliced, two white onions, sliced, 400 grams of potatoes cubed into one centimeter cubes some type of vegetable stock or chicken stock olive oil salt pepper the chicken stock or the vegetable stock can be in powder form or made homemade however you want if you're using oxo cubes or bisto cubes or whatever it's two cubes and with the powder it tells you on the packaging how much you need we're going to be using two liters to get started, what you'll need is a big pan, like that, and you'll have to just put a small amount of oil in, two tablespoons, just enough so you can shallow fry something. And we're going to put all the vegetables that we slice, so that's pretty much all the vegetables apart from the potatoes. The potatoes go in later on in the recipe. Let's get going. Okay, so you want to get your pan up to a good heat, add your olive oil. Okay, now the pan is hot enough, you're going to add your celery, your garlic, your carrots, and your onions, and your celery. You want to keep it moving, mix it around with a wooden spoon and you want to leave it to fry for 10 minutes with the lid slightly ajar. Checking on it every 1 to 2 minutes just to move it around so nothing sticks or burns to the bottom of the pan. Alright, so once your potatoes, not your potatoes, sorry, your leeks and your carrots and everything else have become slightly golden, translucent, the carrots are still holding their shape but you know they're cooked, you know they're cooked. You want to add the boiling, you want to add two litres of boiling water to them, like this. And after you've added two litres of boiling water, you want to add however much powder stock it says on the, on the back of your tin. If you're using um, stock cubes then Put the boiling water in a separate pan and dissolve the cubes before adding it into your soup. But if it's a powder, I just generally just add it into the soup anyway. After you've added the stock powder or cubes, you want to add your potatoes in there as well. Make sure you have a big enough pan in the beginning, otherwise you'll have a little bit of nice bit of fun changing over pans. After you've added everything, give it a good stir, you know, mixing everything up, making sure that the, the stock stuff, the stock powder gets good dissolving. And then what you want to do is you want to get it to the boil and then leave it to simmer for 10 minutes with the lid slightly ajar. Now that the, uh, the dish is boiling, turn the heat down so that it's just simmering. I'm just going to put the lid on and leave it to simmer for another 10 minutes and then it will be done. Okay after the soup has been simmering for 10 minutes just taste like take a piece of potato and just taste it and see if it's cooked and if it's cooked then it's ready to come off the heat. So turn the heat off, taste to see if it needs any salt and pepper. So I'm going to have a little taste. needs a bit of pepper. Some salt. Okay. Give it a good stir. Now depending on taste preference you can either blend the soup with a handheld blender or a liquefier or you can just have it as it is. It's completely up to you. I prefer to have it blended so I'm gonna do that. Okay, after you've blended it, it should look something like that. 
And always remember, when you use a blender, put it in first before turning it on, because otherwise you'll have a huge mess. Alright, and that's it. And that's how you cook a leek and potato soup. Hey guys, just made the soup. Gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, that is really, really good soup. And all it cost to make was £3.50. £3.50 and it feeds six to eight people. If you're in a flat, that's less, if you've got four people, that's less than a pound for a good amount of soup. That's University Cooking For You by Don Chazzy. Bye-bye. <laughs>